G'day guys, welcome back again. This is number four of the placemat pour and I'm doing blues today. So I'm going to get straight into it. Like I said in number three, if you want to see what's in my pouring medium and what my ratios are, just watch number two, the purple one. So this is the blue one. And I'm going to put a little bit of the light blue in. So I've got black and white, light blue and dark blue. So we'll go light, dark, light, dark as we always do. Because we get a, a nice pattern with a light and then a dark, don't we? wrong I was supposed to do one cup at a time you guys oh I've done two doesn't matter I'll continue you think I could remember it hasn't been that long since I've done them my goodness I'm supposed to do one of each color in this cup and then do one of each color in that cup not two of each color in each cup oh well done now Let's hope it's all right. Can't believe I forgot that. Huh. All right, that's the light blue in. Let's go with the dark blue. It might be all right. Probably won't. It'll probably be a bit on the muddy side, but that's the reason I was doing two cups with just one layer in each. That was I was trying to do, and then I totally forgot to do it. Having a blonde moment. Okay. Oh well, if it doesn't work, I'll be doing another one. A little bit of white, not too much. Because obviously the black and the white together make grey, so I don't want a lot of the black. And now, leftover black, I'm just going to pop a little bit on the corners as I've done with the other ones. Or you can do white if you prefer. You don't have to do black. You can pop some white on if you prefer. There we go. Oh, angry with myself. I can't believe I did that. Hasn't been that long since I've done it, Paul. Totally forgot about it. Okay, that's the black. I'll leave a little bit in there. So I've got black and white in the global. And then I've got marina, which is this lovely pale bluey colour. And cool blue, which is the bright blue. So that's what I've got. Okay, so I've poured from that end. So that's where I'll pinch the cup. And I'll start pouring in the middle. Nice big circles close to the surface. I'm going to try and get folds like that instead of little rings. Nice big folds. Here comes the blue. Hopefully it's not going to be too muddy. Although doing two cups, it, it probably still will help because I'm not shaking the paint around too much in the bottom there. Look at that, pretty. Okay, now I'm going to go again in the same spot. I'm just going to move it down a bit because I think I've moved a little bit. And I'll pinch this one in the same spot there. And off we go. Right in the middle if I can, where I was before and try and do the circles again like that, the little ribbons. The cells coming out of my cup. 
I'll walk this around a little bit so I've got a different colour on this side. And then try and catch your drips so that you don't leave a tail. If you do leave a tail, like I've just done, just get a bamboo skewer and just make a little circle like that, just so it's less noticeable when you start tilting and hopefully it'll be all right. Okay, now, a bit of a torch to pop some bubbles. bubbles in this one. You can see all the little white dots popping up. That's all the bubbles that I'm popping. Okay, let's go. I'll do the same as I did with the others. Go round and round in a circle first. Try and get my card covered as much as possible. Round we go. And keep going straight down. It's a lot of plain blue just there, isn't there? Not sure how that's going to turn out. Just go over and then head to that corner. leaving a tiny little bit of black. Okay, now I'm going to take the weight of the paint back to the middle. And then I'm going to do that corner there. So far, well, I'm not sure yet. Jury's out. It's looking a little bit muddy there. We'll see what happens once I've stretched it all out. I may just have to redo it and do one cup with one layer and then the other cup with the other layer how I was supposed to do it. It's only a new thing really. I only just discovered that that works better so I totally, totally forgot to do it just did my old way again. Silly me. Alright, let's take the weight back again. Quite liking this nice blue band though. And the paint's already heading in that direction so I'll keep it going in that direction. The only problem I find with this cool blue, it throws a bit of purple and you can see it there. I was debating whether to use my navy and this light blue. But then I thought, well, the navy's very close to the black. Maybe it won't be sort of, it won't stand out as much. Okay, off to that corner there. And I'm leaving this little bit here. I'm going to see if I can save that just for a little bit of interest. This bit of a curve here. So paint back again. This is all stretching out up here. So I'll move it down a little bit towards you and then off to that last corner. Hope you guys aren't getting sick of these. Maybe I shouldn't do eight. But I thought maybe people would like to see what the difference is with all the different colours that I'm doing. Hopefully. Oh, that's not quite over there yet. Off you go, paint. I might just have to help it along later. I don't want to lose too much of that pattern. I want it to be the same as on that side. Okay, back to the centre. 
And then this over here, it's a bit wide for my liking. I need to get some of that off and bring some of this down. And maybe I can turn it around like that so that you can see better. Just as I tilt that down. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, if you can actually see it or not. Because I can't see my phone, it's up on the tripod up there. Paint's moving slowly, but it is moving. I just want to get this down a little bit more and open these beautiful rings up here. And I'm going to see if I can close that big band of blue a little bit. It's just a bit big. Off it goes. Paint's moving slowly. I'm just going to take this down just a little bit, get some of that blue off. And then I'll bring it back. I think that's better. And play around with your composition until you're happy with it. That's the good thing about these pores. You've got a little bit more control over it as to just flipping a cup over. Both beautiful in their own way, but just different. Okay. Mm, maybe I've opened it up a little bit too much. I might just take it back down that way. It doesn't have to be centered. This black area doesn't have to be centered. There. I think that's good. Left a little bit of white there, a little bit of blue, light blue. Okay. Now I run my finger under here. Clean that up. There's my cloth. Okay, so the blue one, done and dusted. Although I don't know that I'm that happy with it. And I wouldn't know unless I did another one and to compare it, would I? And did one cup of each, just one layer in each cup. That was what I was supposed to do. Maybe I can do another one quickly while this one's, well, I've still got everything out and my cups can use the same cups, I can use the same stirrers, so I'm not wasting too much. Oh, I just don't know. I think it's all right. I think I'm very critical of my own work. I'll leave it. I quite like it. I've got the, I can definitely see the dark blue, I can see the light blue, I can see the white, I can see the black. It's got a nice composition to it, so I think I'll leave it. I just have to remind myself to do the next one correctly. Well, not necessarily correctly, but just the way that I seem to think that it does seem to work better the other way, where you just layer each colour once. It doesn't muddy as much. Got a little bit of grey, but you know, I might have got that with the next one as well if I did two separate cups, you just don't know. Right, let me take you in for a close-up. Oops, I'm changing the colour instead. Come on, open up. Rightio, there we go. Do you like that one? I like how the blue is a good contrast against that, that black, the light blue against the black. It's really pretty. Okay, so red, purple, teal and blue, done and dusted. I will see you for the next one. Not sure which colour I'm going to do next. Hmm, I'll have a think about it. Maybe pink. Alright, see you for the next one. Bye for now.